Harley-Davidson motorcycles are known for being loud, but last week, the company unveiled one that was really different, Project Livewire, a surprisingly quiet electric bike. Livewire is Harley-Davidson's first electric motorcycle, but it isn't actually going on sale anywhere. Instead, Harley's touring it around the country to get riders' feedback. It kicks off today in New York City, but Harley let us take an early look at Livewire at one of its stores in Lower Manhattan. Livewire is a sleek electric bike. It almost looks like something off of a movie set, but it's completely ready to ride. It goes from zero to 60 in under four seconds and tops out at 92 miles per hour. For now though, Harley isn't interested in talking specs, just how it feels on the road. I'm not a rider myself, although I did try out a stationary demo just to rev the engine. So we brought in a friend of ours, photographer and motorcycle enthusiast, Kristan Felber, to ride around Manhattan. Felber's been riding an old Honda for a few years now, so Livewire quite literally took him about five decades into the future. It's super light, it's really agile, really, like the power is just so smooth. I just want to go on the highway, That's what, I really want to go on the highway. Uh, I just want to open it up. Yeah, it was awesome. Even from owners of traditional Harleys, the immediate response was pretty positive, albeit with some hesitation. Many saw it as a great starter bike and a good option for those in the city. But unsurprisingly, the absence of Harley's classic sound was the big turnoff here. I think I'd probably miss the, 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 the sound of the engine for sure. Like, you know, the rhythm and like even like the smell of gasoline. Like there's something really like kind of nice about that romantic. <laughs> That's not Ryder's only concern either. A lot of the classic Harley owners I spoke with saw Livewire's silence as a big safety issue. I pulled my baffles out of my my Honda and it just makes people, you know, because otherwise it's like people won't see them make left-hand turns in front of you and swerve in front of you. So it's like, I mean, this is so silent. It's like, yeah, there, there is definitely a, a safety issue. One told me he thought that an accident was guaranteed on such a quiet bike. Harley doesn't see the sound as a safety component, though. The sound that you hear behind me right now is an engineered sound uh, that we put into the product um, that we feel is you know, in its own way, very muscular for uh, an electric product. So this isn't like any other electric product that's out there, we feel. It's there for the emotion, and to that end, it's distinctly different from the Harleys that fans know and love. One of the, the biggest things about Harley-Davidson is like the trademark sound. Like everyone knows that sound. You can hear it coming from a mile away. But who knows? I, I don't know who this will appeal to. That's what Harley's out here to gauge, though. If the riders won't buy it because of the sound, Harley's next iteration of Livewire, whatever that may be, might just fix that. Harley won't say exactly where it sees Livewire going or when it'll put an electric vehicle up for sale, but it says there's work to be done in the electric vehicle market, and it knows it can help push that forward.